Hello everybody. I hope everybody's Christmas went well. I'm back in the garage. Uh, took about a three day break or whatever. I can't remember now. But I just placed a massive order for uh, lower control arm bushings, uh, lower ball joints, inner and outer tie rod ends, new sleeves, new bushings for everything basically. The whole front end is going to be redone. I even uh, New bushing for the idler arm, new bushings for the steering box. Pretty much nothing in the front end will be left untouched for except the struts right now, uh, because I do believe they're good. But every single bushing, everything that moves is on its way here. So I'm gonna start taking everything apart and uh, get all the old stuff off of it, you know, wire will, wire will it. <laughs> I hate to use that word anymore and uh, get everything painted nice so when I look under the front end it looks beautiful like artwork and I know that's a waste of time but it is what it is let's take a look and see what I got right now before I take it apart okay as you remember before wait I got my LED light in the way uh, I went ahead and did the you know the new brake hoses and brake lines I'm gonna pop this brake line off so it's out of the way pull these drums off clean up these backing plates in it it is not real good. I get the hiccups. Great. So I can respray them nice, shiny black, and they're nice and clean. I got new inner and outer bearings on the way, new seals. Nothing will go untouched. Um, here, we'll take a quick look if we can. Uh, but sway bar, I'm just getting ready to pull off, and I figured I'd better film it. I forgot, but the only thing you missed is, you know. The two bolts that hold the sway bar bushings up to the, the frame head. But uh, I'll be cleaning all this under here, changing the steering dampener, the arm that goes from side to side from the steering box to the idler arm, all the tie rods, everything. So this is all going to be replaced under here from end to end, top to bottom. And those bushings are going to suck. I'm going to mark these cambers on here so I can put them back the same, even though I'll still get a front end alignment, but you still want it, you know, close. But the next time you see it, I'll pop a video on here and there, you know what I mean, and uh, show what I'm doing. But I won't film the whole process of changing bushings because I don't think you guys are going to sit there and watch it all. So the master, though, is done and hooked up. I guess you just remember that. But, uh, okay, I'm going to get on this, and I'll slip little photos and stuff in as I go along. Okay, so the sway bar was the first thing. On your lower control arms, there's your ball joint. And that's where the sway bar comes through. So you're just spinning a castle nut off and then tapping it out. I put a uh, center punch in the middle of that. And sway bar's off. It only took a couple minutes, actually. So that's the first thing off. That's where the sway bar went in, right there. So I PB blasted this. So. Okay. After we disconnect the ball joint, then we'll go up and take the bolt out where it adjusts for camber on the frame head. And uh, get this control arm off. The new bushings are on the way, so I'll keep getting other stuff done in the front end. You know, get the old bushings pressed out, stuff like that. So I do have an impact, pretty heavy duty electric one, but I didn't need it so far in this. Let's see if this will come down. Never smack the threads. I mean, I could care less on mine because I'm putting a new ball joint on, but there it is. Okay. That's off. This ball joint shot. I can feel it. That's why I'm changing all of it. It's easier. And it's not hard to do. You only have three bolts here on the 73 and up. Or I'm sorry, 71 to halfway through 73. Just got three bolts. Ball joint comes right out. No pressing, no crap, no nothing. So, okay. That part's apart. Okay, let's get this lower control arm off. I took a, I don't even know from the camera's view, a little, uh, it's 
straight edge. And I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I'm tired. I marked it with a punch so I can put them back to where they were. And I'll still get a front end alignment and I got the wrong side socket. You definitely want to mark them because you want to get them as close as you can to where it was on the road last at least, you know. And then, uh, no big deal. And you get your front end aligned. Oh, I know that's not going to push out that easy. Keep your nut past the threads. Don't let the threads stick out past the nut. Give it a tap. Pull it off a little further. Never hit them threads. Should have used my speed gun. I'm taking them out. Oh, there we go. Put that back on there. Put the nut back on. Way the threads don't get screwed up if you drop it. Okay. Oh, washers. Okay, watch where your washers go. I only seen one, so that's it. Okay, one side lower control arm off. And don't look right. Never seen somebody replace these at one time. Those aren't factory. I know they're not factory. They look like what I'm putting in. Probably wasted my time, but that's okay. All right, tie rods are out. Inner and outers, your bar that goes from the steering box to the idler arm. That is all getting replaced. Okay, took the idler arm off. I can't show you with one hand, but I mean, that's how it bolts up. And your arm comes across and connects to it. I can barely move this at all. So that bushing inside of there is shot. I already ordered it. It won't be fun to do, it's pressed in there. I'll get it out though. Okay, I got my one control arm in the vise. Uh, my new ones didn't come yet, the bushings, but somebody replaced these. And the bolts still fit real tight in them. I'm almost wondering whether I should hassle pressing these out. Okay, and here's the other control arm. Now I know I gotta do these. But those ain't factory. They definitely ain't factory. Somebody replaced these. Maybe I'll leave those alone. Because the bolts fit nice and tight in them. I'd hate like hell to fight with these for hours on end trying to get them out. And I don't have a press, you know. But somebody definitely replaced these. There's no doubt in my mind. Those are not factory. Chime in. Okay, I cleaned one of the camera bolts up. And here's these bushings that do look like they were replaced. There's not even no play at all. The bolts feel nice and snug going in. Okay, this is the bushing. I chipped away some of the rubber. It, uh, that goes to your steering head. That's the adjustable camber for the lower control arm. And that's where your ball joint goes. This is where the sway bar comes through. These bushings are shot. So I don't have a press. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let me get you set up. Sorry, I'm all over the place there, sorry. Okay, so, big bolt, socket. You want it to fit over the whole thing, not where it'll restrict the bushing from coming through. Okay, put that up through. A washer to go over the center of the bushing. Okay, we'll see if this actually works. It should should remember I said that okay and where the hell at you go there it is okay and we'll be tightening this
Okay, if you can see the bushing did start coming out. I didn't realize on that bolt was a lock washer. Yay, dumbass. As Red Foreman would say, I think the threads are whacked out to that bolt now. Damn it. That's what I get for rushing. Okay, remember now, that socket, where are we at here? The light's hitting it. Hello. Whew, all over the place. Everybody get dizzy? The socket's got to go over the whole arm. What I mean by that is the socket has to go around here. And then, of course, the washer just covers the center sleeve. So let's try this again. All right, I opted to get my gun because I'm getting aggravated. So let's see what happens here. Okay, and I ran out of... Okay, let me put a sleeve over there. Morales was quite amusing. I went to pull the rounded bolt off and when I pulled it out, pulled the socket down, the bushing came out. Okay, so you see it's a little bit of a pain. I gotta get the rest of it out though. There's a little piece in there still. So, and this washer stuck in there, so that's what happened. But, let me get my little punch, and my hammer, didn't even need that. All right, well, okay, I made that look a lot harder than it was. But as you can see, all right, the bushing's up. So the new one that comes, I'll put a picture up of it here, is a two-piece. So there won't be no pressing. Basically, it'll just, you know, one piece will go on outside, one piece will go on outside, and you stick your shaft through the middle, and the smart remarks there, and tighten it up. Okay, here's the other control arm. Like I said, ain't messing with that bushing. It's nice and tight, luckily. Okay, put my bolt up through. Remember, you don't want the washers to sit around this ridge, only the shank on the bushing, so that these washers can pull through the hole. And of course, your socket sits around the whole other edge, outer edge, so it can pull it through. So, I'm going to use my gun. It's just an electric gun. No big deal. I don't feel like winding it the whole way. Hopefully, it just goes smooth. And it did not. It started to. It's almost out. Wait a second. This looks like it's ready to come out. And it's out. There it is. Okay. So that's out. Oh. And there you go. Remember the new piece that comes, it's a two piece set. So there's no worrying about pressing it in or out. And it saved me a trip to a shop. So there you go. All right. So. Here we go, the idler arm. I had already taken it apart. There's a Allen head at the top. And I, I just put the bolt back in for right now so I don't start mixing bolts and nuts up. But took this apart, slid the arm off. I'm gonna have the bushing pressed in and out or try it myself first like I did. Although I believe this one's pressed in a little bit tougher. So I'll see what I can do. But I gotta wait for my parts to come now. I ordered from J-Bugs, probably be about a week before everything gets here, so. As soon as I start messing with that, I'll show that process too. One control arm's done and painted, of course. I wire wheeled it up and cleaned it up real good, hit it with etching primer. It's hard to see, but it come out like glass. 
it's just hard to tell that it come out good. I'm going to paint all the front end underneath and all the front end parts. So, okay. All right. So, I got a lot done today. Uh, the tie rod assemblies are both pulled off. Uh, the arm that goes from the steering box to the idler arm is pulled off. I did pull the idler arm assembly off too. I'm going to have to do the uh, bushing in that. It's not real bad, but do it while it's apart, you know, because the Super Beetles can get a lot of shimmy if you don't make everything right. You can see here I cleaned it up. And uh, the control arms, I'm sorry, I'm tired. The control arms, I got them bushings out as you've seen. Uh, the bushings in the ends where the camber bolts go through, yeah, you can tell those were replaced. I'm not taking them out. There's no reason to be foolish and nothing but a waste of time. So those are going to stay in there. I'm going to replace the bushings that we pulled out together, as you've seen, where the uh, stabilizer bar goes through, or the sway bar. I must be tired. Uh, I did paint the control arms, as you can see. I uh, hope everybody had a nice Christmas. Uh, got a lot of cool stuff. Got a new HVLP gun for my son. So that's cool. Uh, I'll be spraying the beetle in the spring here. And uh, my daughter bought me a heat gun, which was really cool because it's not just an average heat gun. I'll show that stuff another day here. This one has a gauge on the back of it for the temperature and also it gets hot enough to heat up bolts. I never even seen one like this, but very cool. And they bought me a lot of other cool stuff too. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and name everything. Uh, my oldest son bought me a Red Rider BB gun <laughs> we'll do some filming with that but uh, got lots of cool stuff for Christmas I hope everybody had a really nice holiday and remember family is everything that's all you have at the end of the day is your family so love them dearly and cherish what you have okay I'll talk to you soon